Hello, Philadelphia. My name is Ray Ray, and I'm the host of the Philadelphia Music, Dance, and Modern Art Show. This week, we have We The People. Uh, they're a great band that I met through Craigslist uh, a while back, and I, I saw them perform, and, and they really rock it out. Uh, gentlemen, would you like to introduce yourself to Philadelphia and uh, tell them what you play? Thanks um, for uh, having us out here to the show. We are We The People. We're a punk band based out of Delaware County. We've been playing for about two years now, since early January 2012, and have recently just put out our third demo entitled The War On Ideas. Cool, cool. And what do you uh, do in the band? I play uh, bass and do the vocals. Okay. And you? I am guitar, and that's about it. <laughs> no vocals. <laughs> just rocks the guitar. Is that a bass guitar, lead guitar? Uh, just no, you do lead guitar. He's, right? he's, be, he's bass. I'm just really. Oh, you do guitar. bass? Okay. Yeah. I, I didn't realize that when you played. Yeah. And what do you do? I'm your Paul. Name? I, I play drums and I also help with booking and, and this and that whenever I can. Okay, great, great. So um, we took a lot of footage of you guys playing. Um, there were several songs that you really wanted to uh, share with us and, and Philadelphia. Um, one was uh, Acres of Skin, right? And. Uh, the Murder A Day Mayhem, right? There, yes. Those are the two songs that you really uh, you wanted to talk about and we wanted to talk about on the show. So uh, could you tell us first about uh, Murder A Day Mayhem and what inspired you guys to write it, what it means to you, and uh, why people should listen? Uh, Murder A Day Mayhem is a song that was inspired actually by uh, local events, actually by the murder raid in Philadelphia. There was a newspaper article that had said pretty much there was a homicide about 24 hours every day in Philadelphia. Mm. I think there's too statistics. Much. Quite yeah. frankly, way too much. Way too much. Yeah. yeah, I think they had it as like one shooting every six and a half hours, one homicide every 24 hours and 10 minutes or something. This was back yeah. at uh, 2012. I want to say over the summer of 2012, the mm. article was published. I think it may be Philly Weekly or The Inquirer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so that song represents what you read in, in the in the the article. Yes, yeah, it mm -hmm. talks all about it in some detail, I guess, the trouble they have with mm -hmm. everything out in the streets. Okay, okay. And uh, what type of music would you describe um, your music as? Um, heavy metal, uh, industrial uh, metal, rock? What, kind what of like a heavy metal with a bit of a hardcore punk rock. It's really influenced by a lot of the older 80s bands mm -hmm. like Judas Priest or the Dead Kennedys. A lot of really just right to the point kind of verse chorus bands really just delivering it home in a few minutes. Was there a message you were trying to get across to people uh, with that, that music? Were you trying to just, were you just telling the story or were you also trying to send a message uh, you know, to people like stop killing people? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good message. Yeah, right? no, a lot of uh, the stuff we write is really socially influenced and is mm -hmm. hoping to instill uh, some hope and some change in society. We got a lot of songs about the environment, about human rights and all. and. A lot of important issues that we try to address with our songs and keep right. people positive, keep people thinking, keep people thinking free, mostly importantly. Right, some social commentary and, and yeah. to keep people's minds sovereign. We're all sovereign yeah. beings. Yeah. And uh, some people forget that when, when, you know, with all the things that are going on in the, in the world today. So Acres of Skin, um, do you want to speak about that a little bit more? Uh, yes, Acres of Skin is inspired actually by a book of the same title that was released and the book was about a bunch of medical experimentation that had went on down at the Holmesburg prison on Tarsdale Ave. I, I grew up around there, so I'm very familiar with it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, back there in the 1950s through the 70s, they actually had an experimental program. They were testing like all sorts of ointments and lotions and creams on the, in the prisoners there at the hospital. They were pretty much making them patients, but a lot of them weren't actually told what was being tested, what the side effects would be. It was all a very experimental process. It's actually in part financed by the University of Pennsylvania, but the book had come out and it detailed everything that had went on there, actually some of the legal trouble Dr. Albert Kligman got in over the experiments they had ran. And That's pretty horrible. Yeah. I mean, to think that <laughs> you make a mistake uh, and then, you know, you, even in Holmesburg, yeah, you could, yeah. You could yeah. make a small mistake and still have to do some time there and then wind up with a third or fourth arm as yeah. a result of... Some yeah, no, some of them had scars that were permanent in I the end. They had, I guess, given interviews with the novelist who had written the book. And, yeah, he had gotten a lot of information through the Freedom of Information Act as well that he had put in there. It was really a pretty tragic tale. Actually, the uh, FDA like eventually banned the practice in the mid-'70s. Mm -hmm. Sounds like that. It sounds pretty horrible. And, you know, uh, by bringing it up, though, you 
don't let people forget yeah, about yeah. these things because when they horrible things happen and people forget, they tend to happen again. Yeah. So yeah, well, as a result, history it, does repeat itself. Yes, it's good right. to it's good to share you know share these stories and, and make sure to you know people know what what the hell's going on around them really. Yeah. So um, how did you guys meet? Uh, I, I know you've mentioned the story before, but you know not on air. So uh, could you tell us how you how you met? Actually, I was rooting through Craigslist, saw an ad for a band needed a guitar player, and I'm actually a bass player, so I was like, I can play guitar. So me and Steve got together and we started up, and then needed a drummer. I said, well, it ain't gonna be easy. First shot, pulled me these drums mm -hmm. in, hasn't left mm -hmm. yet. So it's been, <laughs> yeah. been a pleasant uh, experience. That's great, that's great. And now um, you have several demos. I mean, you've you played a lot of songs, and we're, we're gonna show uh, probably good, you know, five songs uh, that, that you do, um, definitely the two that you mentioned, but you have played a lot of songs and you mentioned that you have three demos. Now what's the difference from the songs that you already have in your repertoire to the demos? Uh, is it just a matter of putting it to wax and, and promoting and, and, and sharing it with the public? Is that the difference? Um, I mean, the, the demos are more of a progression where like the first one or two would be like the songs we had at that time. And then we have both a collection of things we played live as well as things we professionally recorded. Plus Drew has a recorder, so we record our practices and record all of our shows. And if we have mm. a good take, we'll use that as like an actual version of that song. So the, the, the demos are more of like just a progression of us and the songs over the last you know year, year and a half. Like the most uh, recent one, the, the War on Ideas demo, that's not only our most recent, but it's basically like the four songs that we don't have like actual legit like recordings for. And it's our first recording using um, like Pro Tools, like an mm -hmm. actual really good, clean, more professional kind of sound, where the other two were kind really of, they, they, they okay. we were okay. what they were, but since we're more in like the, the punk 80s kind of, you know, There's vein a little bit of idea. That yeah, works. it has a kind right. of a, a raw grittiness to it, which it works. Okay, so the production value, I guess, yeah. is, is the has increased over the. And you can see how more comfortable okay. we are with each other, mm -hmm. right? Now right. being together for a year and a half to two years, so mm -hmm. we're, we're progressing as okay. musicians, also. Excellent. So, if um, somebody wants to learn more about you guys, uh, do you have something on the internet? That, are you on SoundCloud, Reverb um, Nation? Yes, we have a Bandcamp like site. So mm -hmm. It's we the people band two one five dot bandcamp dot com, and we have a Facebook site we could be contacted mm -hmm. at, which is mm -hmm. Facebook dot com slash we the people the band. Okay. And we do have a Reverb page too, which you can link through our Facebook page. Okay, and I'll make so sure to put these on. links out for everybody so they can, you know, find you and come see your shows. Uh, where where are you guys playing next? Do you know uh, what you have in store for, you know, the next few few months? Taking over the world? No, <laughs> nothing scheduled currently. <laughs> well, taking over the world is that's a that's it a long process. It's not something yeah, to go do over do every night. a few months every night. Okay, but we're currently great. trying to work on maybe doing a, a full length album. Uh -huh. So we're writing new songs. Okay, so that's that's in the future is yes. uh, a, a full length album. Um, how many songs? Uh, like I said, I mean, I heard a lot of songs from you guys, um, and I know that the demos are what you mentioned. I mean, how many songs do you need for an album? And um, when do, when do you think that's going to come out? When are you going to drop the album? I'm I believe uh, this full length should be about eight songs, and mm -hmm. hopefully, we're looking to do the recording in 2014. It would mm -hmm. hopefully get released the same year, or depending on how late into 2014 we record it, maybe early in 2015. Do we have any late birthdays? You know, we aim for somebody's birthday next oh, year, 2014. Yeah. Drop it on the birthday. So. Oh, there we go. We're <laughs> yeah. dropping on his birthday. I think that's a great idea. So. That's a great idea. So, um, gentlemen, thank you so much for uh, joining us again on uh, Philadelphia Music, Dance, and Modern Art Show. Uh, we, as I said, we'll put up links so that everybody uh, at Philadelphia, um, our in Philadelphia, excuse me, can uh, find you and learn out, you know, learn more about you and listen to some of your music and find out about your shows. Um, again, uh, my name is Ray Ray. I'm your host, and we're here with We the People. And now we're going to see some of their uh, performance. Uh, take care, Philadelphia. Thank you.